In the last video, we modified our project to obtain an access token from Azure AD by exchanging the ID token uh, that Microsoft Teams got through its support for single sign-on. With the server-side API updated, we can now update the SSO tab to request and display the current user's profile photo. So to do this, the tab will first exchange the ID token obtained by Microsoft Teams and its SSO support for an access token that can be used to authenticate requests to Microsoft Graph. So I'm gonna come over here into our tab. Uh, we have right up here inside of client. And let's scroll to the top and we can see we have our header. I'm gonna add in another uh, entry here for an avatar. Uh, and that's just so I can show the picture. Now, the next thing that I wanna do uh, for on the React imports, notice I'm using two hooks, use state and use effect. I'm gonna add another one called use callback. This is gonna allow us to implement calls to some other endpoint um, that we need to use. Now, this file uh, contains a single functional component that's been exported to the caller near the top of the component's declaration. So here's the declaration. We've got a bunch of const uh, declarations that configure the initial state of our React app. So that's what all these are. I'm gonna add a few more properties to our state um, that are gonna be used to store the ID token, uh, gonna be used to store the uh, graph uh, token. So there's the ID token or SSO token. There's the access token we'll use for uh, calling Microsoft Graph, which is also referred to as an OBO token. And then I'm gonna also grab uh, the photo for the current user. Now let's find the use effect um, uh, hook, which is gonna be the first one, this one right here, uh, in the tab that's being used to obtain an ID token from Teams. When the request to authenticate with Microsoft Teams is successful, it parses the ID token, which you see here, to obtain the user's sign-in name, uh, and then it sets the component state uh, on that property. So you see the set name is gonna set the name property. And that triggers React to re-render the component and display the user's name. But I wanna update this to save the token, the ID token, to the component's SSO token. So this line right here, right before we notify uh, success, I'm gonna add in another one of set SSO token, and I wanna pass in the token that we got back, which is what we see right here. Now, in order to submit requests to Microsoft Graph, as I've said, we need to exchange this SSO obtained ID token for an access token. And this is an async request to the server side API endpoint that I previously implemented. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a new hook right here for the, that's implementing the callback hook. Now, what this does, this hook for, I'm calling exchange SSO token, what this does is that this, when, it, when the SSO token is passed in, which means that whenever this state value changes, this hook is gonna fire. It's going to use, uh, it's gonna issue a request using the fetch request uh, in the browser, the support for fetch in the browser, to our server side API, and it's passing it to the exchange SSO token with the SSO token on the query string. When it gets a response back, if this response was successful, it then sets the OBO token by getting looking at the payload and just setting the access token on that OBO token. Now to initiate this process, I'm gonna add in another use effect. So let's just go down here and I'll add this in. And what this code is going to do is this is gonna be triggered whenever the SSO token changes. Uh, and when that changes or when the, uh, this method actually changes, this callback changes, what that will do is it's gonna to check to see, do we have an SSO token? And if we do, go call this exchange the OBO token. So at this point, the TAM has an access token that will authenticate requests to Microsoft Graph. So the next step is to request the current user's profile photo and display it. So I'm gonna do this by adding in yet another callback, another callback hook. And what this one does is it says, when the Graph uh, OBO token changes, which it does when we obtain it, it's going to then create a request to the Microsoft Graph endpoint for me slash photos slash value, which is the actual photos value. I'm gonna get it back as, J as a JPEG and I'm gonna submit the request to include the authorization header that includes our access token. 
And when I get the response back, I'm then going to take the response, convert it to a blob, then use the URL um, object to call the uh, create object URL and set the photo for our user. So this code sets the photo, the profile photo in state once I've received uh, the request to uh, Microsoft Graph. So what I need to do is I need to instruct the React component to initiate this hook when the access token is received um, from uh, when the access token is received or changed. So there's our access token. Whenever it changes, this effect will fire, which will call our get profile photo, which is listed right up here. Now that the the profile photo, uh, now that we have the uh, profile photo in state, the net last step is to show it. So within the return statement, let's just come down to our return statement here. Right after the user's name, I'm going to add in the photo. So it says if the photo is defined, then I'm going to output an avatar uh, control with the actual photo. So I'm not going to save my changes. Let's go back to our look in the console, make sure everything's running, which we're not running yet. So I'm going to go ahead and spin up Ingrox serve again. Now that it's running, we'll go back to the browser and we'll go back to teams. I'm going to click off of our tab and then I'm going to go back into our tab and see if it works. And sure enough, what you can see is that now, not only are we obtaining an ID token to display the current user's name, but we are using that token to request an access token using the OBO flow, which we're then using to call Microsoft Graph to get the picture of the current user. 